Ibanez might be your favourite metal brand, but did you know they make cracking acoustics? Yes, they do indeed make acoustics, and we have they have fantastic acoustics, and we have three of them here today. Yeah, that's right. So um, Ibanez, I think sometimes when uh, brands that are known for making really modern guitars, people like Ibanez. When they when they start making acoustics, they tend to make them very modern, almost trying to make acoustics for the same market as they're making metal guitars. That's not what Ibanez have done. They've uh, they've actually made really really tasteful yeah, acoustics with. Uh, with a modern, with some modern application. One of my favourite things is they've gone back to their uh, their original logo. Well, not quite their original logo, but uh, like a take on their original logo, which I think is uh, is super cool. I always loved the sort of more scripty version of the Ibanez uh, logo. I think the only thing I saw it on recently was the uh, Omar Rodriguez Lopez uh, signature model. But what um, what a cracking! Yeah, I mean, it's the logo. obvious choice of logo to go for on the acoustic. I mean, look at this like these inlays like. Yeah, the inlays are super cool. So they've gone for this, uh, they've gone for the sort of plant, well, the sort of leaves moving up the fretboard, but it's really tasteful. It's easy to overdo that, and they haven't in this case. I think it's quite tasteful. Grand concert body shape. Yeah, we have a solid Sitka spruce. Top. Top. Yeah. Uh, and what are we, Palferro? Yeah, Palferro, because you can't say Rosewood anymore. So uh, Palferro back and sides. I love the binding on this uh, on this one as well. Um, so it's sort of Palferro binding. And now they, and they've managed to kind of mix like a modern and traditional feel for these guitars. So they all come with a satin neck, uh, which is quite a modern application, but traditional grand concert body and so and something we were getting a little uh well, i'm not getting confused about but something we were talking about earlier was, i was confused was the uh these this cultured maple fingerboard cultured maple so, so that's yeah that, so the fingerboards on on all the certainly all the acoustics we're looking at today are cultured maple and i was a bit confused because i was like well that's it's not it's not maple because it's it's very darkly colored like if if we could make maple look and feel like this surely every everything would be like that but uh cultured maple is very much like uh rich light it's that sort of material so it's a reconstituted version a pulped up and sort of recreated version of maple so that they can get that really hard ebony-esque uh feel to the fingerboards which the question is why, why call it why call it cultured maple? Well, I guess every every brand has their own name for like a reconstituted sort of man made fretboard material. But the fact is that you know, it, like with uh, with Gibson's move to Richlight, they've uh, originally that came in and it was on like all their affordable guitars. And as time's gone on, they've been like, no, it's actually just a really great material. It's got loads of really similar properties to ebony, so it now turns up on loads of their high end gear as well. And this is the thing, these guitars are like sub six hundred pounds, and and it's a lot of that's a lot of bang for your buck for for six hundred quid. As with that's ev that's always the case with Ibanez guitars. They're always like really swag, you know, 
for for the price point they're always like punching above so yeah indeed and and so the the two we just had up uh, in the they're all at the ae range aren't they yeah um the two we just had up were obviously normal acoustics concerts do you say yeah grand concert body shape and obviously the same but this is really cool this is very cool so this is a baritone acoustic which you don't see too often but just having that b2b tuning on an acoustic oh it's great if you want to do some like really spooky Americana or stuff. Yeah, it's cool. It's perfect if you like playing the Last of Us soundtrack. That's uh, but but it's great. What a cool, awesome guitar. Abalone rosettes, gorgeous looking scratch plates. Everything about them's banging. Yeah, cool. Very cool. <laughs> If you're watching this in October, October of 2018, October. Uh, then we're running a competition giving away all three of these guitars. That's right, you can win any one of the three. Uh, if you just follow the links below this video, then you could be with it a chance to take one of these home. <laughs> carry on, no, carry on. Yeah, I am. Yeah. You could be in with a chance. Yeah, it's, it's done. That bit's done. Okay. That's fine. Sweet. We can cut in. If you've liked this video, then don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to <laughs> GOK. I can't remember what we say here. But what do you think of these swaggy Ibanez acoustics? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see more swaggy videos just like this one, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we shall see you very soon. Mm -hmm.